this weather, no seriously, this weather just makes me, it makes me sink, it makes my mood sink. I remember being in Dubai, so to be again, being in Dubai, waking up in the morning to vitamin D, I remember like. What's going on YouTube, it's Jason and welcome to day number 93 and day number 40 of my razor sharp series. So I've just come back from a walk with mum, getting those crucial steps in. I went for a long walk to be honest, just before the rain kicked in, clocking about 15,000 steps. I'm looking to hit maybe 17 or 18,000 in total today, which is decent. Today, I'm going to the gym with Rebecca later on, and I wanna spend time designing a program that I'm looking to launch next week. It's a program building three key habits that help me go from a chubby teenager to a lean and strong adult, and I've kept the weight off for the last 20 years. I'll be revealing more information about that later on this week. But for now, let's get on with the day. So first meal of the day was natural yogurt, granola, and maple syrup. Then I had buttered sourdough and four boiled eggs. So in terms of the plan for today, I'm gonna to be spending most of my time before the gym designing this, at least the skeleton of this program. There's a lot of confusion in the fitness industry about how to lose body fat and how to get in shape. And some people see the information as a benefit. To be honest, I think it's actually a disadvantage. There is more information than ever. When I first started training, there were maybe a few magazines and one or two experts. Now they're like hundreds of thousands. Do keto, don't eat after six, don't eat carbs, they're bad for you. Eat carbs, it's fine. There's so much confusion and noise in the industry that what I wanna do is streamline all of that and just focus on building three key habits that have absolutely transformed my physique and my life. I always say that a person is a byproduct of the habits and the mindset that they build. And so by embedding these habits, it's gonna help people lose body fat over the long term and get stronger. So I wanna design essentially how I'm gonna pitch that because over the past year or two years, I've had a lot of inquiries for low cost programs, but I don't offer anything low cost at the moment. And so I thought, you know what? Let me increase my service level to meet demand and also meets the times and allows me to help more people. So there's a lot of planning going into that. I'm looking at somewhere around maybe 30 to 40 hours of planning over the course of this week. I want the bulk to be done today. So yeah, let's crack on with some work. Before the gym, I had jollof, chicken breast, spinach, kale and shiitake. So just on the way to the gym now, I realised I didn't do my Monday morning weigh-in this morning, namely because Rebecca was baking cakes and knocking around the kitchen and it was just too loud to essentially get anything done or be heard. No, I was making a banana cake. Okay, making a banana cake, but by the time she finished the banana cake, it was like 10 o'clock, 10.30, and I'm not gonna go without food until that point because I was absolutely starving, so I ate. I'm gonna do my weigh-in and my measurements tomorrow morning to see where we're at. Um, oh yes, I thought I'd say from today, I am going to be tracking my calories. So I mentioned before that I've been doing organic fat loss, just kind of guesstimating calories and moving quite a lot since December, which has been great, but I've got my DEXA scan exactly four weeks from today. And in order to see how much muscle I've gained, I want to be 83 kilos. I got my DEXA scan when I was at my lightest, just before the show, at about 78 kilos. So if I've gained five kilos of muscle, I wanna be 83 kilos when I go there, and that way I can see how much of that five kilos that I've gained is actual muscle, and how much is other, or lean body mass, essentially. So yeah, tracking calories from today, I'll let you know, as always at the end of today, how much I've consumed. But for now, we are off to the gym to train legs. Also, side note, it has been raining all day. Literally, it was drizzling when I went out for a walk with mum, and it's been non-stop. Like, we were supposed to go out for a walk, right? Yeah. It's no hope, it's been raining non-stop. This is supposed to be spring. It's the 6th of May, what is going on? Honestly. This is actually what the summer's going to be like. Oh, I, I, I need to get out of here. This, this weather, no seriously, this weather just makes me... The weather is weathering. 
it makes me sink. It makes my mood sink. I remember being in Dubai. So to be again, being in Dubai, waking up in the morning to vitamin D. I remember like sunshine. going to the beach, sunshine. They were some of the best training sessions of my entire life. My you sauce- it for this. That. We need to get out of here, man. This has been... No, honestly, those sessions in Dubai were some of the best training sessions of my entire life. Like, I woke up vibrant, strong. My testosterone was through the roof. It was so good. And now I'm just, like, drizzle and just trying to avoid the rain. It's, it's miserable. <sighs> I, I, I'm going to... This winter, we're working on something. I'm not going to say too much, but... Sorry, babe. Cat's out the bag. We are working on something, and I'm trying to. Cut the video here, please. Fine. You to the gym. All right. So easy warm-up set. Yep. Let's go. Come on. Good. Smooth. So one, two, not too hard, okay? Two seconds on the way down, one on the way up. Up. Right, working sets. Squeeze all the way in. Post workout, I had sweet potato wedges with chicken breast and broccoli, and then I finished the day with fruit. So leg session done, that is everything. Calories and macros on screen now. I thought I'd throw in there, I'm not against calorie counting. I know I said I haven't been calorie counting since December. It's not because I'm against it, it's just because when I don't have a firm deadline, all my deadlines, you know, quite a while away, I'm looking at being lean for October, there was no real rush, but for this DEXA scan, I would have just carried on into the summer doing what I was doing. But when I have a deadline and I want to get to somewhere, you know, get results as fast as possible, calorie counting by far is the most efficient way to get there. It cuts out all the guesswork and gets you to your goal as fast as possible. I know a lot of people find calorie counting triggering. I don't really understand why. Rebecca was baking earlier and she was measuring all the flour to the gram, the flour, the butter, the sugar. When you start measuring your calories, everyone starts to think you're extreme, but I'm like, would you make a cake on guesstimates? No, because the taste would be off, because weight and amount of stuff matters. So it does with your calories. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there, rant over. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel to follow me on this journey and I'll see you again tomorrow.